Christ Restoration Bible Church International present Word of Restoration with Pastor and Pastor Mrs. Malik Aigwe Sule. The Word of God says we are not translated into the kingdom of his death son. The Word of God you receive must protect it. As you are reading the Word of God, you are reading the Word of our Jehovah. Welcome to the Word of Restoration. Jesus was with them in that boat. And he was fast asleep. The boat was about to sink. And they ran to Jesus. Say, Master, we are about to perish. Master, save us. And Jesus stood up and rebuked the wind. In other words, Jesus is always around you. Is always ready to give you solution. They were very smart enough to realize that they have somebody by their side. And they ran to him. Say, Jesus, look at us. We are about to perish. Help us. Today you are here. Jesus is the owner of this altar. You're coming here, you are running to Jesus. Whatever you have been passing through, leave it for Jesus. For Jesus, we do it for you. Yesterday has passed. Today is another day. Jesus said, today is your set time. You've read Psalm 27. He said, I will be with you. He said, I will fight for you. Because you are here today to see Jesus. He will help you and you will never be put to shame. Our rightful position is being given to us by God. Sometimes we are not there because of circumstances. Sometimes we are not there because of what we are passing through. Even the fear alone will make us not to be there. Because you are here, your solution is coming to you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Some people are almost like, let me give up. Will I give up? Will I not give up? What are those things? Let me tell you because God wants to speak your heart right now. God wants to speak your heart. What you are passing through, God is already aware. Jesus is saying, don't give up in that particular situation. I am with you. I have your solution in my hand. And God will give it to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You just find out that your friend now has taken the husband to be. You used to enter there with your friend. Maybe you are a female. But before you know it, they have outstayed you from that house. They have taken your husband to be. Will you not be very, very sure? And you will say, How come you are about to give up? Is that your friend? It's not your friend. And that is why I said, Your only friend is Jesus. This is Jesus that will not disappoint you. When you have tried, tried, all around, no success. You may like to give up. Am I right? You have tried. You have tried on this business. No success. What is the next thing for you to do if you don't have Christ? Eh? You begin to think, will I continue? Will I not continue? You almost are the process of giving up. Jesus know what you are passing through but today is telling you don't give up i have solution for you and this solution will get to your hand today in the mighty name of jesus christ when you face persecution from one to another you are bound like giving up but jesus said i'm your friend i have come to help you even when other people have abandoned you. He said, I am your friend. I will take up your hand and I will walk with you and I will show you the way. Jesus is ready to show you the way today. Will you follow Jesus when he show you the way? Jesus is by your side now. Some people give up when there is a little strength. Little or no strength with them again. They have walk, 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 walk. They have even walked in the house of God. They have even worked with Jesus. And right now, 
no strength. They are discouraged. They are not even ready to move forward. This discouragement comes to people when something is about to happen to you, something good. When you're about to move from one level to another, discouragement comes. How? When you are moving now, there is a fence. Look at that fence at the back. There is a fence. Before you can move, continue your movement, you must have to cross that fence. Is it not? But for you to cross that particular fence, not everyone can cross that fence. That fence is a barrier to so many people. That fence will make people not to continue their movement. That fence, because it's a barrier, people are going to stop there. They will no longer continue. In that moment, your solution is by your corner. Don't forget, when Moses, the Israelite, they came to that river, the enemies, they were pursuing them. But they came across this big river. You cannot walk upon the river. What then happened? There was solution by the corner. Few of them were murmuring. Remember, some remember Jesus. So remember the Lord, and they call upon the God of Moses. And Moses spoke to his Lord. He said, Father, here are we. Help us. Anytime you come to the Lord and tell God, help me, it's ready to help you. And when that help comes, nobody can bring down that help. Today, somebody is about to go home from here with that idea that will transform your life. I said that idea that will transform your life. That will take you from your level where you are. That little level where you are to a greater level. If you believe it, can you open your mouth and shout amen? That is what God is about to do. I am not afraid to talk about Jesus. Because I know one soul with God can transform the whole world. You are the one that is going to transform the whole world. Your contribution to this Abuja, to this Nigeria, all over the world, we have meaning to somebody's life. I don't know what I have brought you here, but all I know is that I have a God here in this altar that can solve your problem. I have this big God, the mighty God, the King of Kings, the Lord of Law, and the creator of the universe, the owner of your soul that gave your life to you. I am confident of one thing. Anytime I talk about Jesus, I have the assurance in my heart that when you call his name, he makes himself present and his solution must come. Solution is coming to somebody. If your heart is connected, you have the solution. You have the solution to that problem. It doesn't matter how long they have been pressing you down. In your sleep, you can no longer sleep. You rather prefer to sleep when other people are going to office. Because if you sleep at night, they are coming to press you. God is aware of that situation. And that is why he has brought you to this place today. Don't sit, you are sitting down. You are sitting on top of miracle. And this miracle will go home with you. You will never leave here empty handed. Because we have have a God here, the God that make everything possible. This is the God of solution. This is the God of restoration. It's about to restore life. Your life will be restored today because He have the solution. Are you ready for God to take your problem away from you? You cannot carry that problem. Whatever you desire today, God has the solution. Say that to yourself. Whatever I desire today, God has the solution. Who gave the solution? Jesus Christ. Do you need a solution today? Do you need a solution to that nightmare you are passing through? Do you need a solution to that inability? Everything is tight for you. Inability to feed. That is why Jesus is here. Imagine how they were all littered across a third world African street. Young men and women with latent potentials 
incapabilities to liberate themselves from the shackles of poverty and underdevelopment. But they kept bound by Western junks, encapsulated in various derailing civilizations, government and corporate organizations not left behind. Today, today they give up too soon on global relevance. But now, but now, it's time to unlearn the habits that has kept us long bound, deprogram some information from our system, and get the cardinal straight. Get down, let's go in. In.